Hello! So today we're going to do um, a Jamberry wrap application video, okay? So I've got my tools all laid out here. I've got an alcohol prep wipe. I've got my wraps. I've got my tweezers and my um, spring-loaded clippers and my Jamberry file, my orange stick, my purple pusher, and my scissors, as well as my heater is hiding over here. You'll see it in a minute and a white buffer block, which I've already used on my nails. Um, go back and review my nail prep video if you haven't seen it already. And make sure that you're ready for this portion of the video, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is my, hands have already, my nails have already been prepped and washed, and I'm going to use um, a prep wipe and get my nails really clean. The prep wipe removes any alcohol, or any alcohol, <laughs> sorry, removes any oils from your nails and you don't want to have any oils on those when you're applying your wraps or your wraps will not be able to stick or you'll get some lifting. Okay, so go in there really good, get those a wipe. Now remember in my nail prep video I talked about making sure you shaped your nails previously and that you pushed your cuticles back and removed your invisible cuticle um, and that you used your white buffer block to get a nice smooth surface um, with no shine and that you washed your hands well with a Dawn dish soap. Okay, so I'm also gonna make sure that I use this on my tips of my fingers, right? We don't wanna have any oils transferring. Okay, and I'm just gonna set this out of the way. All right, um, here's a typical sheet of nail wraps. Okay, 18 on a sheet, and they come in all sizes. So from very large, these, you can see my index finger to this one. This is what I use for my toes. I actually, I actually cut a one wrap like this into 10 pieces for my little toes, and I use this wrap right here for my big toes. Okay, I cut it in half. On my nails, and I've been doing them a long time, so I'm real familiar though, that this is going to be for my pinky, this is going to be for my ring finger, this is going to be for my index finger, this is for my middle finger, okay? Then I skip a wrap, and this is for my thumb, or this. These are both very close in size, and either one fits my thumb easily. Um, but no matter what, I'm going to be left with at least two wraps left over that I can then go back and use either for my toes or I can shape these um, using trimming them up using some scissors and a pretty nifty little trick that I'll share later um, to do accent nails at another time. Okay. Now I am going to share the method that works best for me and the one that I share in all of my live parties and in my Facebook parties. Okay, this method is called the one, two, three method. Um, it's a cold application method and I get the best results for that. Everybody has different shapes of nails. Um, if you look across the front of your fingernail here, some people have very flat nails. My index fingers are, are kind of flat. Okay and some are very round. This nail right here is very curved, okay? Um, like, like if I was holding a baseball, it, these would have the shape of a ball, right? They're very round, um, like this. And so they don't do well with a heat and stick um, because I end up getting some bubbling. And so I learned this method quite a long time ago. It's the only one I ever use. It's the only one I ever teach. It is by far, in my opinion, the best method for any shape of nails, okay? And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I start with my pinky and work my way in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, okay? Now, if you don't have a pair of tweezers, you can grab an orange stick for this part and you can lift your wrap with the orange stick, okay? You just kind of fold it back and expose the end of the wrap. Sometimes it's easier from the center. Okay, and you just wanna get that up on your orange stick. Okay, and use your orange stick to hold your wrap. So you're not using fingers. We don't wanna use any fingers to hold the wrap. I like tweezers for this job, so that's what I'm gonna use. A pair of tweezers. I'm gonna pull that up like that. And I am going to um, get right down here. And I want to lay this cold. Remember, some people, you know, heat it up in front of their heater first. And I'm not gonna do that. We're not gonna heat this wrap first, okay? We're gonna go in cold. And I just wanna lay, just touching, lay that wrap on my pinky finger, okay? Now, it's not pushed down. It's, it's not, it's exposing all of my sides, okay? It's just laying. And if you look closely, there's a little sliver of uh, nail exposed there 
between my cuticle and my wrap and I want that there okay that's I don't want any skin touching my wrap or that's gonna cause lifting okay now when it's like this I can turn my nail over and look right down there and see if this is lined up the way that I want it okay and I can see that it is pretty even across my nail okay so when I push this down I'm not gonna push it down yet I just want it to lay there but I am going to just touch it once to be sure it lays still while I clip off my ends and I'm gonna use my regular nail scissors and these have a curvature to them okay so that I can go in there and I can look down on my nail and clip not too close but close to my edge of my nail. See, I don't want a whole lot exposed there. I just want it to, to just past, just past the end of my nail. See how close that is? Okay. All right, I'm gonna lay this back down on my, on my sheet um, because I'm gonna use it again for my other pinky and I will have some leftovers as well. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of my way. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heater here. And you'll get to see how nice and quiet this is. Okay, and that remember that it doesn't blow anything around, it doesn't create a big airflow, it's just heat. This is a one, two, three method because we're going to do this in three steps. The first thing we're gonna do is heat up right on the center of our nail for about five seconds, okay? It's anywhere from three to eight. You know, you don't wanna burn your nail, so when you feel it getting hot, that's enough, pull it away. And then we're just going to push from the center by our cuticle straight up to the end of our nail okay now I didn't push down the side yet I don't want to do that yet I want to heat up a side first I'm gonna heat up this side over here the outside of my nail same thing three to eight seconds whatever you'll feel okay and then for this one I'm gonna push in the shape of a U I'm gonna push out and up out and up from the center out and up out and up Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. I'm gonna warm up the other side. Same thing. Out and up. What that does is that creates a really nice seal. There's no bubbling. All right, now I wanna show you very quickly before I finish. See there is a sliver of nail showing all around my wrap. You want to see that little sliver of nail. Now, notice that when you look, you don't see a sliver at all, right? When you look down on people's nails, you don't even notice that. And the same is true for if you're applying polish or gel, you want to leave a sliver of nail all the way around. That gives you the best coverage. Okay, now, one thing I like to do is, you need to remember that our wraps are heat and pressure activated. So I want to rewarm this up again, the whole wrap. I'm gonna use my purple pusher. This is my favorite tool for this. Slide that out of the way. And I'm going to go all the way around, pushing that wrap down onto my nail. And I like to use this because I can get in there close to my, I can get in there close to my cuticle and push that wrap down all the way onto my nail bed away from my cuticle. Okay, and then I just slide forward. So I have good coverage. All the way okay now this one's almost done okay and then I would go in and I would do my other pinky but I'm gonna go ahead and do my next nail and then um, I'm gonna show you what it's like when we're all done actually I think I'm gonna skip this one I'm going to do my middle finger okay so remember for me pinky ring index middle okay I'm gonna use my tweezers now one thing that I really love about this is remember cold application is that because it's not been heated yet and because we're not pressing it down and sorry I moved down to your vision didn't I we want to just lay that on there to where we think it's centered okay and did you notice I kind of I pulled that down like that you see how I'm pulling that down so it gives it a nice little adhesion while I'm looking it over remember I'm gonna look down on that and see if it feels you know, even to me, and it does. One thing I like about the cold application is that because we've not heated this up, and because we've not used any pressure, I've not pushed it down yet, 
it's very easy to lift it right back up and re-stick it as needed. So if you don't think you got it in a good location, cold um, allows you to just lift it right back up and start again. So that's great. Okay, so we're just gonna look this over. See if it's gonna look good all the way around. Okay, and that looks good to me. Remember, we look right down on there, see if it looks centered. It does. So then I'm just gonna touch it one time, right in the middle, just so that I can go through and clip. Now, I, I use my regular nail scissors when I'm doing clipping on my left hand, but when I am clipping jams on my right hand, I use my spring-loaded. My spring-loaded, my left hand doesn't work as well, and so this helps me get right in there. But I'm gonna show you how it works just because I want you to see how great this little tool is, okay? And it's got sharp edges here. So for me, again, I'm gonna look at my, down at my wrap, and I'm gonna go in there close, but not too close, and just press once. Then I'm gonna rotate it over, and I'm gonna find that line, and I'm gonna match it up on the other side. Okay, and then that's it. I've clipped it off. Again, I'm gonna lay this back down on my sheet of wraps because I'm gonna go in there and use the rest of it. I'm not gonna waste any of it. Okay. And again, I'm gonna bring my heater back over here and we're gonna do the one, two, three. So down the center, three to, three to eight, okay. From the cuticle straight up, push. Push. I didn't lay anything down yet. Okay. And to the outside, and then around and up, around and up, like the letter U, around and up, around and up. Okay, and then this side. Again, from the center down below, around and up, around and up, around and up. And then you can just kind of go back over it you see that? Okay, and then there is a sliver of nail over here, although it's hard to see. This one where my cuticle wants to creep up there, wants to creep up there and touch that. Um, can you guys see? There you go. Okay, I'm gonna reheat that up. I'm gonna use my cuticle pusher and I'm gonna actually push with the, with the, with the pointy edge, I'm gonna actually push my wrap down onto my nail where my cuticle likes to push over the edge there. Okay, and that, there you go, now you can see a little bit of nail sticking out there. My cuticle is just nice and large right there, so it wants to push up over the edge. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to push, using my cuticle pusher, right down in there, all the way. Now we've got that nice sliver of nail all the way around. Okay. All right, so two are done on this hand. I'm gonna, go to sh I'm gonna show you on the other hand just real quickly because I wanna see, I want you to see how much excess I have because of doing it this way. Now when you get your samples or if it's your first time doing your nails, it is absolutely okay to take one of these wraps and just cut it right in half, okay? That'll leave you with a plenty of excess on your nail here, but because you've cut it in half, you have more room to adjust and play with it, okay? But I like to save as much as I can. All right, so I'm gonna go in and do my pinky on my other hand. I'm gonna peel this back and grab this one again that I already used, same one, okay? And I'm gonna go in and do this pinky right here. Lay it where I think that it should be. Nope. Lay it where I think it should be, if it wants to stay. So that's what's nice about cold, is I can move that around. So I don't like it right there, it's a little crooked. So I can just pull it up, shift it over. Look at it from the top. Give it a little press so it stays in place. Hmm, yeah, that'll be good, I think. Okay, and then again, I have to use my clippers for this, it's my left hand, so I had my wrist surgery, doesn't work as well. And see that wrap is just a little bit crooked still, just a little crooked still, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm gonna 
swing it over this way a little bit. There we go. That's better. Give it a little touch. Okay, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna look down on it. And give it a clip right above the natural nail. One, turn it over, match up the line. Two, now look at all this wrap I have left. This wrap is enough for me to shape it and do a whole nother pinky or shape it and do my toes or use it on my five-year-old, okay? So I like having all that left over. And that's gonna happen, that's gonna be true for all of these wraps that I used today. I'm gonna have these middle segments left so that I can go in and shape them from my nails for another wrap, use them on my five-year-old or use them on my toes. Okay, I'm gonna do the one, two, three on this and then I'm gonna show you how to do a finishing on our nails. Sorry, you can't see my Peter, can you? Okay, so down the center, right? From the center, up. Pressure and heat. Outside, around like a U, from the bottom up and around. Other side. from the bottom up and around. Sliver of nail shows all the way around. Good. I'm gonna heat this back up. Use my purple pusher. That pressure, as much pressure as I can give it. The more pressure, the better. And push it down, 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 down. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my heater for this part. Okay, when you have your nails all done, and obviously mine aren't finished, I'll finish mine off camera. I'll show you the finish, finish later. But when they're done, you have those excess, this excess wrap hanging here. You want to get rid of this, okay? now. There's different ways to do that. You can use a pair of um, clippers, like these, just nail clippers, right? And you, if you like a square cut, you could just slide these over and snip a little bit of nail and a little bit of wrap right off of there, and that would be done, okay? Um, I have a little, my edges of my wraps, are, or my edges of my nails are a little rounder, and so I wanna give mine a little more shape. You want to let these cool completely, you know, five minutes, um, cool completely. You can always put a cold bag of peas over the top if you want to cool them down quickly. But once they're cool, and you want to let them cool because cooling causes the wrap to shrink. So if you file it too soon, while it's hot, you'll get shrinkage and it won't fit, okay? But here, this is the Jamberry nail file, okay, it's coarse. And you want to use these, and you only want to use these one of two ways, okay? You're gonna go only down, not up and down. Up and down will lift, never back and forth. Back and forth will definitely rip. Okay, you only want to go down, and you want to go straight down at a 90 degree angle, like this, okay? Or at a 45 degree angle, if you've got very short nails, or if you need a little uh, of your tip to show. Okay, and I know that's hard to pick up on camera. But I'm just gonna go straight down like this. Okay, and I'm gonna do that. And it's gonna cause the remainder of that wrap to kind of ball up and peel off. Actually, there's mine right there, it just fell off. That is it, right there. And now you can see I've got this smooth surface all the way across my nail and my wrap is complete okay one last thing I want to tell you is before when you do your nails I'm gonna give you some tips later but the best time to do your nails is after a shower at night before bed because this can sit all night and kind of cure um, some things you want to know is for for three hours at least three hours after applying your wraps you do not want to submerge your hands in liquid. So no bathing, no doing dishes, okay? No submerging. Washing your hands, quick wash is fine, but no submerging. No lotions and no oils apply 